action-packed music set that I've picked out. Hello, welcome again to the Game Changer. I am indeed Nate the Effing Great, and it is indeed day six, halfway there. We're halfway through the 12 days of booking, and ladies and gentlemen, I did not play his music yet, but definitely he will be a part of it at the end of the show. This is the booking of Sami Zayn becoming United States Champion. Now, this request came about from Chad Knight, who actually had two suggestions for me. Uh, the other one was that I would go to the rise of Bailey as the Raw Women's Champion, but as a lot of people know, on day one, I actually did a storyline with Bailey and Sasha Banks. Go check that out and send me pre... No, I'm kidding. It's Christmas time, but I don't expect anybody else to send me presents. But anyway, so as I'm recording this, the United States Championship is up in the air as to what exactly is going on because Dolph Ziggler had one of the best promos last night on SmackDown, but seemingly he may have vacated the title as well as left the company. That's what the speculation is right now, but there's still a little bit of rumors going around that Maybe he's going to be presenting a new title design. Maybe he's just going to be taking time off. Maybe it's this and that and everything else in between. So, all right. Going off of that, let's just assume that Dolph Ziggler is on his way out. And let's actually make a storyline about this. So, throughout the next few weeks, we would see... Uh, let's see here. Uh, Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan, both of them... Just try to keep Dolph Ziggler around. They basically try to convince him. They offer him a little more money. They try to extend his contract. But Dolph Ziggler is intent on saying, no, I'm I'm done. Finally, we reach uh, New Year's, uh, the second day in the new year. We'll say that. And we see Dolph Ziggler actually make the announcement that he is finally done with WWE. And he you know, vacates the title and he is, he's done. So, you know, he gets a proper send-off, no jokes, no nothing, just give him his dues, give him, like, maybe a nice little tribute video, something like that. He definitely has earned it. We're just assuming that's the case. So, the United States Championship will actually stay vacated until after the Royal Rumble. As a lot of you people know, a lot of the people that would be involved in this matchup would not win it. Uh, the winner of the Royal Rumble that I would have would be, and will be, revealed on the final episode of the, uh, the 12 Days of Booking deal. So be sure to stay tuned for that, guys. We're just only six more away. All right, so who would be the best person to be the United States champion during this deal? I mean, you could give the title back to Baron Corbin, but... That seems too obvious, and some people would say, well, maybe go into Kevin Owens, maybe to Sami Zayn, somebody else. It's kind of hard to say who would be the champion, but one person I would definitely have 
be the United States champion, and this is going to be very controversial, I can tell, the winner of the Battle Royal would be Jinder Mahal. And the person he last eliminates, Sami Zayn. There's a reason for that, and we'll get to that in a minute. So, of course, Jinder Mahal becomes the United States champion, and he is just basking in the glory. He's basically saying, I've already been the WWE champion, and I am the champion of the United States. I am better than everybody. You know, he does like this anti-American deal, kind of like what Rusev did. Uh, obviously, he's going to have the Singh brothers to help him out quite a bit. And really, here's the thing. Keep the character of Jinder Mahal that, but don't have any matchup that you know he's had with every other opponent, whether it's you know somebody from the USA or somebody from Canada, somebody from you know Nigeria, whatever. Don't let this be one of those things where it's like it's a victory for America if they beat you know Jinder Mahal and blah 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 blah, because that just got old real fast with Rusev. So what I would suggest, like I said, keep Jinder's persona the same, the anti-hero deal, but when you have him feuding with Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn actually has a little something different with him, because he can definitely say that, you know, he appreciates everything that America has done. They've given him, you know, a job, they've given him a good life, they've given him a roof over his head, you know, food on the table, everything else in between, but here's the reason why he would challenge Jinder Mahal for the WWE Championship. If you remember last year when Sami Zayn was a part of that uh, that uh, superstar shakeup, uh, one of the things that happened was that he was involved in a six-pack challenge in which the winner would go on to face then WWE Champion Randy Orton. Well, who's the winner of that? Jinder Mahal. Who did he pin? Sami Zayn. And then when Jinder Mahal was the WWE Champion, who was one of the first victims to fall under Jinder Mahal? Sami Zayn. So Sami Zayn actually has an initiative. He is trying to prove a point that he knows that he can beat Jinder Mahal. He believes it. He knows that he had a rough year going into 2016, and it definitely capped off when Jinder Mahal kept beating him and humiliating him. And Sammy says, you know, I'm done with that. I'm ready to move on. This is 2018. I'm going to beat you, and I'm going to be the United States champion. And he even mentions, you know, the fact that Jinder Mahal is tarnishing it with his name and with his, you know, class that he believes. You're basically spitting in the face of all the former United States champions that have been that holder. Guys like John Cena, Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat. Uh, and even they mention Dolph Ziggler because he deserves it. He was a great U.S. champion, honestly. So he's basically listing all these names. He's getting into it. It seems like we are getting Sami Zayn versus Jinder Mahal. And this is the buildup going into Fastlane. But we add another element to this. That element being Baron Corbin. He never really got his proper rematch, and he believes that he is owed it. So he's putting himself in that title picture as well. But that's not all, folks. Oh, no, 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 no. That is not all. In fact, we are going to add a fourth element into this, that being Mike Bennett. And I know, I know that seems like a really weird idea. But really, it's kind of one of those things where you're basically capping off, you're basically, you know, bringing up highlights from Sami Zayn's career, but you're also creating three individual stars. You have Jinder Mahal, who has bested Sami Zayn quite a bit during this year. You have Baron Corbin, who probably provided one of the best matches that Sami Zayn has ever had in NXT. And you're also having Mike Bennett, who is still a little bit new on the scene, but he's still one of those guys who's very talented and deserves a bit more a better break, and this is actually one of those moments where he's going to actually turn into a baby face because with Maria not being around, obviously she is off having her baby. This is one of those times where you can actually captivate having Mike Bennett as a great baby face. And Mike just talks to Sammy, he says, Look, I know what I've said to you, I know what I've done to you. Let me just say that was kind of more of an influence on my wife, but I'm more than willing to take responsibility for my actions and. I am more than willing to do whatever it takes to, you know, prove that to you. And I know a lot of people are saying, like, oh, yeah, blame the woman, blame the woman, because, yeah, she was always the problem. Mar that was Maria's character, guys. 
You have to remember that. She was always the one that was causing more problems than anything. And Mike was kind of the guy that was in the background. Now we're trying to make, actually make him into a character. So that's what this feud is basically doing. And we build this up into a fatal four-way matchup at Fastlane. And with this matchup, we see Jinder Mahal retain and beat Sami Zayn. And now here's another thing. This is one of those matches that I want to see be like an early match of the year candidate. I want it to be just so, so good that people are going to want to see this matchup again. You remember when Samoa Joe, Christopher Daniels, and AJ Styles had main evented that one night and they headed for the X Division title? I want it to be as good as that. I think that Sami Zayn, Mike Bennett, Baron Corbin, and Jinder Mahal definitely can do that. Jinder Mahal has had all the experience with AJ. He's gotten very much better. Baron Corbin has gotten better over the years. Mike Bennett, he's naturally gifted. And Sami Zayn is freaking Sami Zayn. He's El Generico. What more do you need to say? So Jinder Mahal, like I said, beats Sami Zayn. He retains the United States Championship. And everybody else still believes that they deserve a shot. And Sami Zayn still is livid on the fact that Jinder beat him again because of the Singh brothers. He says, I want one more shot at you, Jinder. And what seemed like is going to be a triple threat matchup to determine the number one contender, Jinder Mahal and the Singh brothers actually break it up. And Daniel Bryan makes the announcement that at WrestleMania, we're going to have a fatal four-way rematch. But this time, it's going to be elimination-style rules. So the last man standing will be your United States champion. Again, the buildup is really good going into the WrestleMania in which we see, you know, Mike Bennett, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, they're just proving themselves as contenders, and Jinder Mahal even scores, you know, pinfall victories on his own, where he doesn't even utilize the Jin, the, the uh, Singh brothers. I was about to say the Jinder brothers. Honestly, at this point, they might as well be called that. So, we build this up, and then we build up to an epic tag team matchup before WrestleMania. We have Baron Corbin and Jinder Mahal taking on the team of Mike Bennett, and Sami Zayn, and Mike Bennett actually pins Jinder Mahal during this matchup because Sami Zayn adds a distraction and even takes out the Singh brothers, making this a neutral playing field going into WrestleMania. So WrestleMania takes place. We have Jinder Mahal entering as the United States champion. Maybe he comes in on a, I know this is going to sound really bad, but he's on like a magic carpet and he just flies through the air coming down to the ring. Baron Corbin just comes out maybe on a motorcycle. That would be actually really badass for him. I think that would be just absolutely amazing. Mike Bennett, you know, maybe he gets this white swan because, you know, swans are kind of like the lovebirds and he just, you know, coming out and he's looking like, you know, like his music says, you know, this is the greatest love I'll ever know. And Maria is at ringside, you know, watching her husband compete at WrestleMania. Oh, God, I'm getting really cheesy with this. And Sami Zayn comes out and, you know, he comes out actually looking as El Generico at first before taking off the mask and revealing himself as Sami Zayn. You know, just showing a little bit of a roll, like a throwback, basically, is what he's doing. So, at WrestleMania, we see... These four men tear it apart and even go above and beyond the foil for a matchup they had at Fastlane. First person eliminated, Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin, you know, he's livid, he's pissed. He just starts, you know, beating down on Mike Bennett as well as on uh, Sami Zayn. Hits the end of days of Mike Bennett on the outs on the inside the ring. Hits a end of days on Sami Zayn on the outside. Uh, Jinder Mahal pins Mike Bennett soon afterwards, and then Jinder throws Sammy into the ring, covers him one, two, Sammy kicks out. Sammy, Zayn, and Jinder Mahal, they fight back and forth tooth and nail. This is what the rivalry has boiled down to. We see them just really just tearing into each other. Sammy Zayn hits the blue thunder bomb. He even locks in the, uh, the Koji clutch. He locks that in. Jinder Mahal is still able to get through. He uses the knee. Uh... Jinder Mahal uses even a forearm. I want it to even look like the forearm that he hits on Finn Balor, just making it so people will be like, oh my god, we haven't seen that since he used that on Finn Balor. You know, make it seem like Sami Zayn just looks completely wrecked. Uh, Jinder Mahal hits the Colossus. One, two, Sami Zayn gets his foot on the bottom rope. Jinder Mahal is in absolutely total disbelief, and he sets him up for another Colossus. Sami Zayn rolls him o- over. 
Jinder charges at him, grab gets grabbed. Sami Zayn does the explorer suplex into the corner. Hell of a kick, but Sami Zayn, he grabs Ginger, he sets him up, and he's saying, I'm not done with you yet. And he hits a second Huluva kick on him, and he just says, nuh-uh, nuh-uh. And he just looks at him again, and he says, I told you I can beat you, and now I'm going to take your title. Sami Zayn, boom, third Huluva kick, and this is the one that looks brutal. It basically looks like Ginger Mahal's just, head just got caved in. One, two, three. Sami Zayn becomes the United States Champion. Sami Zayn gets a WrestleMania moment. Sami Zayn finally gets the singles run that he deserves. And it works out perfectly because then you can have three separate contenders going after WrestleMania. You can have Jinder Mahal for maybe about half a month, maybe a couple weeks. Uh, then you can build it up to you know Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. And then finally, at maybe SummerSlam, you can even build this up to have Sami Zayn versus Mike Bennett for the U.S. title. Maria is back, and Mike Bennett, you know, he turns heel. He's back to being, you know, basically the the love the not the lover boy, just basically the puppy for the wife. Just making it just absolutely, you know, it would be a really good turn because you could definitely see, you know, Mike Bennett and Sami Zayn. They're getting close. They're getting closer and close. Maria makes her return. Boom! Mike Bennett does a turn on Sami Zayn. And we see, you know, again, that build up to a match at SummerSlam. So, ah, that is how I would book having Sami Zayn win the United States Championship. Now, obviously, the one was for the Intercontinental title, but I do not see him going to Monday Night Raw anytime soon. So, hopefully, Chad, you like this idea. Hopefully, it answers a lot of questions. Again, guys, be sure to check us out on Spreaker.com as well as on Podbean.com, SoundCloud, and Mr. NTG1990 on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter at Real Life and Game, as well as give a like on Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash Changing Up the Game. So we still have about six more stories to do before the year is over. I'm definitely going to be going crazy next week, but in all honesty, it's going to be worth it. Uh, the next one, I can give you guys kind of a hint. It's going to be an amazing deal. It's going to be absolutely glorious. 